If you play tennis and are serious about playing well, ask yourself this. How many tennis balls have you stopped using because they've lost their bounce? They've hardly been used, but they've gone soft, so they're no good to play with. It just feels like a waste of money throwing them out, and it's no good for the environment. When you open a brand new can of tennis balls, they bounce properly, but within two weeks, they've gone noticeably soft. Have you ever been caught out? You arrive at the court, ready to play, your tennis balls look fine, but then you find they're not bouncing properly. They've gone soft. You either have to buy new tennis balls yet again, or put up with balls that don't bounce like they should, which won't help you to play well. If you want to play good tennis, you need to be practicing with balls that bounce correctly. Wouldn't it be great if your new tennis balls never lost their bounce, no matter how much you used them? What if they could keep bouncing like brand new balls until the felt wore out? Sound impossible? We assure you, it's not. Hi, I'm Barry. Being a tennis player myself, I was continually frustrated with how quickly new balls would go soft, especially when they showed little signs of wear. So I was inspired to create something for all tennis players that works so well that not only do new balls never lose their bounce, but old balls can be revived to bounce like new ones again. And no, it's not awkward to carry or bulky to store. It's inexpensive, it's flexible, it's easy to carry, and it's guaranteed to work. Interested? Let me show you. When you open a can of brand new tennis balls, they're going to bounce great for that match. That's because tennis balls are sold in pressure cans, pressurized to around 14 psi, which is the same air pressure as on the inside of the tennis ball. As soon as the balls have been removed from the can, they start to lose their pressure and their bounce. That's why professional tennis matches only use balls for nine games. If I leave my tennis balls in a bag or a box, within a couple of weeks, they're going soft and I'll either have to buy new tennis balls or put up with balls that just don't bounce right. So instead, at the end of the game, I put my balls in pressure ball. It has an inflation valve at one end, an easy to use clamp at the other, and it enables me to store my tennis balls at 14 psi. Now that's the same pressure as the cans that they were originally sold in. And this means that my tennis balls will never lose their pressure or their bounce. You may be thinking, does it really work? Well, I've been selling pressure ball tubes for over four years now and have raving testimonials from all around the world. I have not had a single request for a refund because the tubes don't perform. Zach from the USA says, pressure ball tubes work well. I was able to reuse balls that I would have thrown away. That sounds helpful, doesn't it? And it's obviously saved him money. Yashui from Japan says, I like pressure ball very much and it's indispensable to me now. The biggest advantage of your pressure ball is its flexibility. It's easy to carry. Ben from Australia says, I have been using pressure ball for about 12 months now. Excellent product. Janet from the UK says, I hated the environmental impact of throwing away balls that were otherwise perfectly fine. And Johan from Sweden says, pressure ball tubes work great. I am amazed that various tennis partners I have do not seem to appreciate being able to play with near perfect balls every time. Do you think always practicing and playing with balls that bounce perfectly helps Johan be better prepared for competitions? Could you see it helping your tennis? It makes sense, doesn't it? To use pressure ball, I just drop the balls into the tube. The tube will take up to eight balls, but if I have more balls, I just use extra tubes. The clamping mechanism consists of two parts, an inner and an outer. To use it, you just place it against the tube, fold the tube over, and then slide 
the outer across. This tube is now fully sealed and ready to inflate to 14 psi. The valve will fit most bicycle pumps and anything that will fit a car tyre. I also have a pump with an integrated pressure gauge that will tell me exactly how much pressure I'm putting in the tube. I simply place the pump on the valve and then pump the tube to 14 psi. Brand new tennis balls have an internal pressure of 14 psi. If you store your balls in pressure ball, they will maintain their pressure and their bounce indefinitely. It's just as though you've taken them out of a brand new pressure can. So how does pressure ball work so well? The secret is in its high-tech construction. The flexible plastic tube is industrially made with a three-layer heat-sealed structure. This is what makes it possible to store tennis balls without losing pressure. The inner and outer layers of film are each made of a complex co-extruded plastic which gives the film a very high barrier to air, meaning it doesn't lose its pressure. This co-extruded plastic film also incorporates strong abrasion resistant micro layers which gives pressure ball its high durability. You can drop it on the tennis court or throw it in the back of a car, it's tough and it can handle it. Only a very sharp object such as a knife will do any damage. The clamping mechanism is moulded to fit together perfectly to lock the air in. The valve is the same robust type as found in car or bicycle tyres which you already trust every day when driving or biking. This high tech construction is what makes pressure ball work so well. If you store your tennis balls in pressure ball, you'll be able to use them much longer because they won't lose their bounce. In actual fact, you'll be able to use them until the felt wears off. And if you have any old balls that have gone soft, you'll be able to revive them back to the stage where they have their full bounce. How much money do you spend on tennis balls every year? You can slash that amount by using pressure ball. So click the button under this video to buy pressure ball tubes and start saving money now. To use pressure ball you need to have a pump with a pressure gauge on it so that you can measure 14 psi. I recommend a Gaio pump. It's small and easy to keep in your bag and it has a simple pressure gauge built into it. You can buy one of these pumps when you purchase a pressure ball tube below. Or if you buy two tubes we'll give you a pump for free. And if you buy three tubes, we'll give you two pumps for free. Having a backup pump is always handy. You can keep one in your sports bag and one in the car. So just choose whether you want to buy one, two or three tubes and all our prices include free shipping worldwide. So click the button under this video, choose the number of tubes you want and start saving money. Throwing away perfectly good tennis balls doesn't make good financial or environmental sense. So it's obvious. Purchase your pressure ball tube today.